we the first, we the first, we the first. Hey, I can't lie. It's been a minute since I've done a story time. I may be so real, man. But it's because not, not, nothing crazy has been happening in my life. You feel me? But I'm back with another story time. You feel me? But this story time is crazy. You feel me? In this story time, I'm going to be explaining to you how I got scammed of my first ever car, like my actual first ever car yeah, that you guys don't even know about. How I got scammed after I bought that car, fam. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Right now, I'm not even in my car. I'm in my dad's car, you feel me? Yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to the channel, man, I'm telling you, bro. Trying to get to 5K, bro. We're going to get there real soon, you feel me? Trying to stay consistent as well. But yeah, man, I'm not even going to waste no time. This one's crazy. I'm going to just go straight into this video, man. So to give you a backstory, yeah. In terms of my driving, yeah. I never actually drove a car until the first day of my driving, um lesson in it and that was when i was 18 that was in 2020 late 2021 in it obviously i've got my license now in it i've had my license for like approaching a year now in it but cool i didn't get my license until like around like september october in it of 2023 but that's just because i told myself yeah that i wasn't gonna get a car until uh um, what's it called until after uni in it so i told myself yo that like, i'm gonna do I'm gonna get this car after uni because there's no point in me getting a car during uni because I knew that like me having a car, having to pay for the car and the insurance and all of that while I'm paying for my rent and my accommodation and other expenses that I didn't even know yet. I just said there was no point of me doing all of that. Let me just wait till after I finish. So that's why I was just like, cool, I'm gonna be patient, you feel me? Now, I finished uni. This, bear in mind, this all happened only, a, if it happened like two months ago. I ain't even had my whip for, for two months yet, you feel me? And that car, my first car, I got that um, in June, you feel me? And right now it's August. So it has, it's not even long ago. Like all of this, this whole story time ain't even happened too long ago. What happened was, yeah, I finished uni and I said, cool, time for me to get this whip, you feel me? I was on the lookout for whips, you feel me? But my budget was very low in it. I lowered it on purpose, innit? I wanted a very bad whip for my first car on purpose. Like I genuinely wanted a bad car for my first car in it. I wanted a very, very cheap scrappy whip. So I'm, I'm gonna try to insert pictures by the way, if I have some still, you feel me? But the car I was kind of looking for was like an old plate Volkswagen Golf, right? You know, 1.4, 1.6 um, liter, you feel me? Like I was, I was looking for a very, very old plate. You feel me? Like I was trying to look for like between 2004 2004 and like 2009 in it that's where my range was in it so after days a couple weeks of searching in it i stumbled across two cars in it there was a 2006 and 2004 now the 2006 yeah it looked fine until i got there then i realized that the whole top area yeah was kind of peeling off in it so i was like yeah cool i'm not even gonna touch that obviously cool on the same day i went to view that car I had a mindset, which is what you should never do in it when buying a car. Never have the mindset that you're gonna actually leave with the car in it. I had the mindset yeah, that I was gonna leave with this car. So I was very, very disappointed when um, I didn't, I couldn't leave with a car in it because I was talking to my dad and my dad was telling me not to get the whip. And I was kind of pissed off. Now on my way home yeah, I'm on auto trade, I'm looking for cars in it. I stumbled across this 2004 sports wagon golf. Now, cause I'm on my way home here yeah, and I already had the mindset that I was gonna be driving home to the point where I even told my siblings, yo, like, hey, when I come back here, yeah, I'm gonna come back with a whip. When I saw this 2004 um, Golf here, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is the one still. It had decent mileage. What was the mileage? It wasn't crazy. It was like 81 or something and it was like 81K in it. So it wasn't too bad for, for a 2004 plate car in it. So I was like, cool. I called the um, seller. This was a private seller, by the way. These are the red flags I should have picked up. Um, it was a private seller. So cool. I called him, yeah. He said, oh, uh, yeah, around somewhere around North London, innit? He said, I should come. I said, can I come now? He said, yeah, yeah, come in like an hour. I was like, cool. On my way there, yeah, he tells me yeah, that uh, he has to rush to the hospital, but um, his son will sell me the car, innit? I should have, I should have clocked that as well. So obviously, I got there now, yeah. I'm looking at the car, whatever, you know what I'm saying, it's fine. And also, I wasn't by myself, innit? So, I was, I'm thinking, yeah, that's 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 actually something. I should have I should have been by, by myself because the re, because I wasn't by myself, yeah, I was more willing, like, I needed to leave without, like, with a car, you feel me? Like, if I went by myself, I probably wouldn't have cared as much, innit? So, cool, I got there, yeah, looking at the car, we're talking about it, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know about cars, so... I mean, at the time, I didn't know too much about cars. So I didn't know how to search a car, how to like check if everything's cool. 
So I'm just checking like the general stuff in it. Like I'm walking around the car, looking at the exterior, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm starting up the car and that. Now, these are a couple issues with a car that I brushed and still ended up buying it. When you turn on the engine, like when you turn on the car, after you turn it back off, the engine fan would stay on for like a good 10 minutes after. Now, they told me that that was like normal in it and it's like an old car, so you have like, you know what I'm saying? And I actually believed it in it. So cool. After that, yeah, I still brushed it in it. I still brushed it, you know what I'm saying? They said it's an old car. I said, yeah, true, it is an old car. So it would make sense, right? The interior was fine. I can't lie. Like, obviously, it's a 2004 car, car in it. So obviously, you got to put a key in and turn it and everything. Everything on the exterior was calm in it. It was not. Exterior was fine. The interior was fine as well, innit? Obviously, it just smelled like like tobacco in it obviously that's because the old previous owners obviously smoking in the car and that in it but that wasn't an issue it was just a fan noise in it i think i'm trying to remember if there was any issues in it but at that moment in time it was just a fan noise went for a test drive in it but i didn't even drive the car in it it was it was the son that drove it now obviously he drove it all of that it was driving fine in it it was driving fine i wasn't even tripping too much now because i had the mindset that i really wanted this car I just, I can't lie, I was kind of cutting for it, man. I was just like, yo, let's do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like it, you know what I'm saying? Straight off the bat. Now, gets to negotiating. They they were selling it for 1.8, and I, I was trying to lowball the hell out of it, man. So I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I tried to like, you know what I'm saying? Talk about the year and the mileage. I tried saying, you know, I can't do nothing less, nothing more than 1.2. Obviously, they're outraged by that, innit? But because I want the car so much, I was the one that started moving about in it. Long story short, we ended up agreeing on 1.6 in it. But I was still in contact with a man, the actual seller, yeah, on the phone in it, because it was his dad in it. So um, what's it called? He, I was talking to him through his son in it. I can't. I only just scraped 1.6 in it. He even said, "Yo, that like, you know, it's it's the 1.6, but after after you pay, don't don't like contact me again." I don't know why I didn't clock that as well, bro. But I still sent the money. Cool. Now I've left, innit? I've left the car. I mean, I've left the area now. I'm driving back. It's driving fine, you know what I'm saying? It's driving fine. Um, I need to go put up, put, um, put some petty in it. I put like, I forgot how much I put in it. Like maybe like 40 or something in it. I put something in it. But um, yeah, so I'm driving. Everything's fine. You feel me? It's all cool. Now, please note as i'm driving the car the engine fan is still on it's turning on and it's turning off in it it's like staying on for like 30 seconds and then turning off for like five ten seconds and it's turning back on so the engine fan is just turning on and off even in traffic even as i'm just naturally driving so the car is sounding louder than not usual in it i went to i went to um a job short yeah crib in it cool on my way home yeah it's like dark in it i'm driving around like houston sides in it i'm driving now I'm in normal traffic, you know what I'm saying, driving probably 25, 30 miles an hour. Now, my foot's on the accelerator as you do when you're driving at constant speed. Randomly, it feels like the car just loses power, innit? Like my foot is on the accelerator, but it just lets off, innit? And I'm trying to push it here to gain more speed, innit? Because the traffic is kind of easing up. Now the car's just revving. So now the car's just rolling at this constant speed it's rolling at, yeah? But I'm trying to pick up more speed in it by putting my foot down on the accelerator. The car's just revving, it's revving. So I take it off, yeah? Put it back again, it's revving again. I take it off, then I put it back on. And now it's driving fine again. I thought maybe I'm tweaking in it. Maybe my foot, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got big feet in it. Maybe I, I put my foot on the brake or something at the same time, that's why it's revving. Make it home, whatever. Now, that's cool, show my parents all of that, they're that like, cool. It's like, a, a cut one or two days later, I'm sorting out my insurance for the car, innit? I put the insurance on the car, it's meant to start on a Saturday, innit? It's like Thursday or something. I don't drive the car till Saturday, on the very first day that my insurance starts. So I'm going out. I leave the crib, yeah? Tell me why. I put my car, I put the key in the car, I turn it. The engine's sputtering. I'm thinking, okay. Maybe that was me in it. Maybe I didn't turn it properly. So I turn it off. I turn it again. It's not working. So I turn it off again. I turn it for the third time and it works. I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm tweaking in it. Maybe I just wasn't turning it properly in it. Cool. So I turn down my road in it. 
and I obviously I'm still on the side road innit so I'm just driving up now I'm about to get to the main road but something's like bro it doesn't feel right innit I'm like why why didn't the car just turn you know saying first time innit I turn it I mean no, no no I don't turn it I park up on the side road innit I'm like cool before I actually get onto this main road and there's any issues let me just park up turn the car off and turn it back on so I park up innit and I turn it off now I turn the car back on it's sputtering again turn it off sputtering it keeps sputtering now to the point where I've called my dad innit because it's coming up that there's like the battery something wrong with the battery so I call my dad my dad pulls up on me to jump start my car innit jump starts not working I'm thinking yo what the hell's going on now my dad's telling me oh, you might have to call um, obviously breakdown um, like you might have to call AA innit Obviously, that's included in my insurance. But my dad was telling me, yo, that, that's a bad look. Your insurance literally just started today and you're already calling for breakdown, innit? So cool. I have to make the call anyway because there's nothing I can do. So I make the call, innit? AA come, they pull up on me. But bear in mind, they, they take like an hour, innit? Now, as they're making their way towards me, yeah, I'm still trying to make the car work. The car's still not turning. Cool. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, innit? Now, as AA are pulling up on me, like I can see them in my rear view mirror, innit? The car starts working. Randomly, I just turn the key, it starts working. Now I'm pissed off, innit? Because now I got to explain to the, um, to the um, person that came to flipping help me in my car, yeah? Now I got to explain to him that it's worked all of a sudden, but it wasn't working before. Now, he ends up saying, do you know what it is? Because my, my crib was only like a couple blocks away, innit? So he just said, all right, cool, let's just take it back to yours, yeah. So if it breaks down again, it's right in front of your crib. He ends up following me to my crib. He later even told me that my rear light wasn't even, one of my rear lights was even not working, innit? But cool. He runs a couple diagnostics on my car. He ends up saying that he's not even sure which one is the correct, like what's actually wrong with the car because there's there's like bare faults in it and he doesn't know which one is like the old one and which one's the new one. So he cleared it for me and he said that he said I should drive around for a bit and then take it for another diagnostic to really see what's going on with the car. I'm pissed off now because basically I can't really use my car. So my dad obviously knows a mechanic in it. He said tomorrow morning let's take it there. I take the car yeah to the mechanic. I forgot to say, I don't know if I let you guys know how much I actually got the car for, but I got it for 1.6. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but cool. I take the car to the mechanic here. We get there, he opens the engine, all of that. <sighs> Bro, I wasn't even in the mechanic for one minute. I wasn't in there for 60 seconds. He tells me to open the, ho the hood here, the bonnet. I open the bonnet, he starts the car and that. He says, yeah sell the car ASAP, engine's done. My dad's laughing, innit? Because he's thinking that he's joking around with him, innit? Because he's calm with him, innit? So he thought he's just trying to buzz jokes on him. So I'm looking at him, I'm thinking, yeah, you must be joking a lot. He said, nah, seriously, like, the car's done. Sell it. My dad looks at me, I look at him, and I start laughing, innit? Because genuinely, like, I feel like maybe other people in that situation, you're thinking about how much money you spent on the car, you're like, upset. I swear to this day, yeah, I'm not even pissed off, bro. I genuinely found it so funny, bro. Like, same swear I got scammed, innit? And it's funny because after I started explaining it, yeah, to my friends later on, yeah, down the line, after I sold the car, innit? They ended up telling me that, you know, I should never have bought the car from that demographic, like, from the demographic of people that sold me that car, innit? But I didn't think anything of it anyway at the time, innit? So cool. Tells me the engine's done. Take the car back home. Oh, yeah, he ends up telling me as well. He tells me that there's an engine problem in it and the engine light should have been flashing on the dash. Do you know what they done before they sold me the car? They took out the engine light, bro. They took out the engine light off the dash here so that the engine light wouldn't flash. And these are the stuff that I would not have clocked. I did not clock and I probably was in no space to even clock that. You feel me? But anyway, cool. I take the car back home. Now I'm pissed off. I'm trying to get the car off my hands as soon as possible, bro. I just got scammed. But I'm not pissed off about it, but I got scammed. So now I'm trying to let the car go. Anyway, I put the car up, you know, I ended up selling it, you know what I'm saying? I got scammed in it, so I had to scam someone else, you feel me? I ended up taking two, like a two bill loss on it. So I, I bought it for 1.6, I ended up selling it for 1.4, innit? I was genuinely so annoyed because I thought that was going to be like my come up car, you know what I'm saying? It was a 2004 Volkswagen Golf. It did not look 
it didn't it looked clean I got the car washed I got a full tank of petrol in it before I even sold it as well because I thought yeah this is my car I'm ready but yeah after selling it I sat down in my room I was like yeah can't lie maybe this scrappy first car thing ain't for me in it I just said yeah maybe I shouldn't be as humble as I was trying to be in it because clearly I'm gonna just get scammed and I'm never ever ever gonna buy a car from a private seller again I just can't be asked for that hassle you feel me I know that um what's it called I know that dealerships can scam as well but at least dealerships you know where they're located these people even met me on a road that wasn't even their house obviously so I should these are the things I should have picked up in it but yeah that's what led me to picking up my um, Ford Focus, innit? I just said, yeah, I'm not gonna be crazy humble. I'm not gonna get the worst car ever. I'm gonna just get a, like a better car. It's not gonna be a crazy, it's not gonna be a good car. It's a nice Ford Focus, reliable. It's a good engine, 1.6. It's very nice, you feel me? So that's what led me to having a car that I had today, man. To this day, I remember calling the um, people that sold me the car afterwards. I said, yo, you lot scammed me, bro. This, that, and the third. He's telling me, oh, like the money's gone, man. Sorry. Bro, I called the main man, the man that actually put the car up on Auto Trader. Auto Trader. As soon as I called him, yeah, I said, you scammed me, all of that. He said he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's never had that car before. He ended the call on me. I called his son because his son was a bit more calm. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to talk to my dad, this and that. I'm going to get him to call you. And they ended up not calling me back, but I didn't even try to contact them again. And I can't lie, as I said, you know, it is that's probably one of the biggest L's I've ever taken in this life. You know, what I'm saying I don't really take financial L's like that, but that was a peak L, I can't lie. But I, to this day, I don't care about it, I can't lie. Like, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise because if it wasn't for me getting scammed out of that car, I wouldn't have the car that I have today. You feel me? So, yeah, I guess it worked out for me in the long run, but in that moment, I was livid, bro. I was annoyed, I was pissed off, I was every word under the sun. But it was funny though. So none of them emotions actually physically showed in it. I was genuinely, it was like raw, like I never knew you could get scammed. Like that's crazy, you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? We we moved on, you know what I'm saying, to bigger and better things, you feel me? So yeah, man, it is what it is, but but yeah, man, I just wanted to give you a lot that little story time real quick. So when you lot are seeing me posting my first ever car, it's not really my first ever car, but it is my first proper car in it because that was the first time I owned a car for a month, you feel me? The votes I can go if I only owned it for 10 days, literally 10 days, you feel me? But yeah, man, if you enjoy this video, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Keep tapping into the channel, keep subscribing and supporting and commenting, you know what I'm saying? And let me know what your first car was. If you got if you if anyone who's driving right now, let me know what your first car is. Let me know what car you drive right now. You feel me? And if you don't have a car, let me know what you want your first car to be and let me know what your dream car is. I want to know what everyone's cars, preferred cars are. My bad, the camera cut off, man. Overheated. But yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Also, this is the re that that car yeah gave me PTSD when it came to whips, man. Every time I hear a little noise in my whip, bro, I take it to the mechanic straight away, bro. Literally, but obviously nothing's happened to the car though. There's nothing wrong with it, innit? But gave me serious PTSD. But yeah, man, that's it from me. I'ma see you in the next video, man. Stay safe, run.